Live from Seattle, Washington, it's theCUBE. Covering Smartsheet Engage 2019. Brought to you by Smartsheet. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of Smartsheet Engage here in Seattle. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Jeff Frick. We are joined by Anna Griffin. She is the CMO of Smartsheet. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Thank you guys for having me, I appreciate it. So you are, you're pretty new to this company. You joined in April. Uh, I'd love to hear, but you've also had an illustrious career in, in marketing. You've worked for some big names, including Apple and Nortel and, and Saturn, and you've also worked for on Land's End and a whole bunch of different, a varied career. Yeah. What attracted you to Smartsheet? You know, it was, it was interesting. When I first um, got the call about Smartsheet, I, you know, I had never heard of it. And the way that it was positioned to me was super intriguing. I realized it was one of those a category that's just not established, but a category that has the potential to be the next big thing. And, uh, or not even the potential, I mean, it will be the next big thing. And, um, I, you know, I met with, um, so that, that was intriguing, but then I, you know, I met with the executive team and it was a perfect combination of, you know, a killer product, uh, you know, a, a, but a killer company. The, I can't tell you how special the leadership of this company is and their authenticity and their passion and their drive and their belief. It's so contagious. There's no way you would not want to be a part of it. So, um, uh, and then the privilege to be able to tell this company's story. I feel like it is the best kept story, not only in Seattle, potentially the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I plan to tell the story, and, and what a gift. What a, what a great opportunity as a marketer to have this type of opportunity. Well, we're going to get into how you're going to tell the story of okay, Smartsheet perfect. a little bit later, but so now you've been here a few months, this is your first ever Engage. What are, what is your, what are your impressions? Well, uh, I wish I had been to a, a previous Engage to have something to compare it to, but um, the fact that this conference has doubled in size 4,000 customers here, and, and it's only its third show. I, I will tell you in the industry, I've worked you know, managing event teams for many, many, many years, not a lot of conferences grow at this size, and so to have 4,000 customers here who are zealots, they are, their passion for the product and what it's doing and what it's doing for their, not only their companies, but their own personal careers, there is an empowerment story through their mouths that will just inspire you. So um, um, it, it's, it, it's incredible. The energy here is, is really, really special. We feel it too. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. And we see a lot of the smaller conferences, the early days, that's why they're fun to be here. We were last year when it was 2000, it was adjacent to the, to the office across the, uh, exactly. across the water. <laughs> exactly. Um, but it is a really passionate community, and, and you know, to hear literal, literal cheers and claps at features. <laughs> um, I know, isn't that crazy? With, I mean, it's crazy good. Well, yeah. it's crazy, it's like uh, copy paste from one row to the other, because it's clearly <laughs> something that, that means something to these people, yes, and that they've yes. asked for, and, and the company has delivered, and, and really you know, demonstrates this listening yes. um, to yes. engage these crazy people. Yes. It's, it's a great asset. Yeah, well, you know, the, the listening thing is huge, and, um, I feel like that's one of the things, and I think it's why there is a CMO now, that why I get the privilege to be the first CMO is because the customer said, we, we need more awareness of this company. We need our, our executives. We need lines of business leaders. We need IT to know who you are and the magic of what you do. We need awareness. It's going to make it that much easier for us to get much wider adoption across these companies if people know who you are and they know, you know what, what, what you're capable of. So, um, so listening, that is one of the number one things we've heard. It's like awareness, they wanted awareness. So, because uh, it'll help make them more successful. Right. And so, um, you know, I think that was the catalyst for, okay, let's get a chief marketing officer, let's go build that so story. So they've got you, what are you going to yeah. do? What are, what are some <laughs> of your top priorities to tell the story and to build brand awareness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, well you know, the first thing was to really kind of tighten our positioning. You know, um, again, it's a you know, great, Great products make great brands, and this is a great product company. But man, we're starting to do so much more than just killer products. We're really getting into this enablement, this um, transforming companies. And so, 
you, I wanted to make sure we are positioned properly. And we're really positioning more in a more transformative altitude and, and the capabilities of, of what we can do. You know, we have found, um, we have spent way too much time talking about technology versus people, versus what technology and people are going to do together. And that is the magic of what Smartsheet does. It really, it um, takes, it's a platform, a common platform that basically integrates with the, the tech investments that you've already made, with the systems of record that you already have, pulls that data out, and then allows the people to work with that data all in a, in a, in a common, real-time you know, application. And uh, when you can marry those two things together, that you know, tech and people, that's when one plus one equals three. And so um, we call that, that three is what we really call achievement. Like again, like everybody in our space, it's work, 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 task management, project management. The capability of Smartsheet, yeah, we, we do all that too. But when you play in that transformative altitude, we are enabling achievement you know, at an enterprise-wide level. An achievement like what your business can achieve, but this is the more special part, and this is where I get excited to, to be able to tell this story, is um, the achievement happens at a personal level too. Like again, I'm telling you, I, when I talk to customers and I see what they're doing, they're like, you don't understand, you have changed my career. I'm doing more strategic work. I am, I am seen differently in my company. I champion this. Like, all of a sudden, I am leading big teams. I, I went from this, you know, to, to this. And their, their empowerment is so big. And so, um, you know, really that last mile of digital transformation is cultural transformation. And that's what this product does. And so, you know, job one was position us properly so we can tell that type of story and really you know, put our solutions in that kind of light because that, that's what it does. Uh, and then job two is to launch the campaign, you know, to launch us to the world. So we just launched um, two weeks ago and it's a slow roll. I mean, we have hundreds of assets in, in play. So, uh, you know, I love um, seeing us on television. I, you know, I love seeing us you know, deeply in digital. I love some of the new interesting things that, uh, um, that we can do in media. Um, but when our customers are saying that you know, they're seeing it um, as a CMO, like, oh, you get a, you get a, ah, a high from it. Who's so uh, yeah. yeah, 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 so, so it's fun. So job two, launch the campaign. And the and campaign th is? Well, we call the campaign uh, Can Do. You know, we're, we're positioning uh, the brand as the platform for enterprise achievement. Number one, Smartsheet is a platform. I think a lot of people, you know, as it's grown, I mean, it truly is a platform, and it really is enterprise strong and wide. It scales, uh, which is important. Uh, but it scales so everybody in a company can align, organizational alignment, to, to truly achieve something bigger. Aligned organizations do not fail. And so, um, uh, you know, th th that's, the, th that's the power. But um, I digress. Did I even answer the question <laughs> no, properly? No, that's good. <laughs> well, and, 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 and I, this, and I you love, know? you know, one of the, the great legs of your, of your go-to-market strategy and, and your lead gen is your licensing formula. Yes, which enables yes. me Touch as so the smart uh, sheet licensee to engage lots of people, many outside my own, not only my own team, but my own company, and let them have access to this tool. Um, what a smart, uh, yeah. smart way. Whoever, yeah, yeah, whoever yeah. came up with that licensing strategy, what a great way to introduce the opportunity to use this transformational tool to the ongoing and broad audience. Yes, oh, yeah, I'll tell you what was so exciting. Um, when I was in the interview process and um, I was riding on a plane and um, you know, clearly I had met with the company and I heard somebody in front of me was a consultant at one of the big consulting firms who had met a complete stranger on the plane and somehow Smartsheet came up and she was going, you got, oh my gosh, Smartsheet, this is like, oh, she was going, this is the best kept secret, we're using it with all of our <laughs> clients. We heard about it through one of our clients, the license model, and then we were using it, like, oh my gosh, this is a game changer. And I'm like, putting my ear in between the two right. seats, like, oh, are you telling more? And I, and I put my hand in, I said, did you just say Smartsheet? And then, the, the, literally, like, six people on the airplane, like, a random, People were like, oh my gosh, we use it too. It was the most surreal experience, and that was when I knew, like, okay, I, I've got to be a part of this company. This is special. Because a lot of people are now just getting that sensation of what this thing is capable of. Right, right. And, right. Um, God. Well, it's funny too, your personal achievement story, you know, it reminds me of any time 
you know, you got a new, uh, new software company and whether, you know, Accenture, Deloitte, or E&Y, when those guys come in, they're making a big bet, right? They're, some new partner's going to bet, bet their career on this new technology. We've heard from a number of people how betting their career internally with Smartsheet has changed their position in the company. Yes, We've yes. heard that today a couple of times. So yes, clearly, absolutely. you know, it's, it is an enablement platform for someone to, you know, grab onto the, uh, to the rocket ship and, and, and ride the Smartsheet wave to, uh, to new and bigger, better things. But, yes. even, but, but, but also her point about just even just participating in the technology and then they're able to, as you said, work on more strategic work, be able to do more things in their jobs that has then catapulted them to new jobs. So it's not even necessarily betting on Smartsheet and bringing in Smartsheet, but it is just, just using Smartsheet and then therefore they have more brain time. Yes, yes. So, so that's Absolutely. the engagement we're talking about, right, Jeff. Right, right, yeah. No, it is, because we've been talking a lot about you know, some of the really scary statistics about how disengaged people are at work and how many people are ready to quit their jobs and you know, they've got all these blocks, just menial roadblocks in their day-to-day -day existence that are, yes. that are yes. negatively impacting their ability to want to be, do their yes. job, right. but actually just want to be there anymore. Right. And, right. and so it's, it's like, it seems maybe to the outside looking in, some of these things might seem low value, but they're actually tremendous value if you're totally. removing these roadblocks so I can totally. get my job done. Yes, totally. Yes. And, and, and love your job. And not only love your job, but know that the work that you do matters. And I think so many people have lost that feeling. Like yeah. it, it, there is something about working in, I don't know if it's the corporate world, but it has become such a grind. And that rare opportunity where you feel like, I love what I do and I know that it matters. Like it's a gift. And this is a platform that enables you know, that in people. And so um, I, I think that's one of the fascinating things. I've been spending a lot of time on the road with, with customers and um, uh, I was at a, a very big um, multinational, or a big global um, agricultural company, and um, Syngenta actually. And watching, um, we met with, oh, probably 200 different, um, um, just what I would call power users across seven different, you know, role types, like you know, from IT to HSC to uh, you name it. and. Um, Every single one of them is like, our, we're doing more. Like we are empowered, like the engagement, the employee engagement in that company through the roof because every single person felt like we're heard. I have ownership, I, you know, I'm doing work, I'm taking it to a new level. And so, you know, sure, there is a ton of operational efficiencies that are going to come out of working with Smartsheet. But I think the one to watch is what's going to happen when your workforce is truly engaged and taking ownership of the work. Those are the, those are the companies that are going to have higher retention. They're going to have, more, you know, they're going to see something, you know, in that, in that talent right. area. So this is more than just, we're getting more work done and you know, return on investment of our, you know, our, of our systems, like you're going to see you know, what happens when, you're, when your employees are empowered. Right. Um, well, and the, the word you didn't use is innovation. Right? Yes, and I, oh, and yes, I, yes, I yes, yes. firmly believe everyone wants more innovation in their company. But how do you do it? But one of the, yeah. I think, a really simple lever on that is you just give more people more access to more data and then the ability to do something about it and yes, open it yes. up to all the smart people that see problems through different prisms and different opportunities and totally. that's where you start to get, you know, leverage this amazing talent that you already have inside your four right. walls. Right. And what is interesting about innovation is I think sometimes the world so over-rotates that innovation is going to be that next killer line of code or it's going to be, and they forget that the power of practical innovation like it's that series of small collected things that add up. So allowing your entire you know, employee population to feel like they have the power to innovate as well. Right, right. That every person in the company has the power because the power of practical innovation can lead to something just as big as the big you know, R&D well, investment. Fact, you know. In fact, DevOps has shown that that's a better way anyway, right? In yes, software development. The, the, the grand idea with the market development plan and the product development plan and the three year build cycle that's does not win against constant, relentless, iterative, yes. iterative yes. Small, improvement, yes. improvement, 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 yes. improvement. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. So, you, and you, you said this earlier, and I saw it on your LinkedIn too, that the, the, 
the last mile of digital transformation is cultural transformation. Yes. How do you describe the culture at Smartsheet now? So, I mean, we've talked about the evangelical customers. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah. What about within Smartsheet itself? It's. Um, it's pretty special. No, look, you're going to say, of course, the CMO is going to say it's <laughs> special, but it is, it is rare when people, everyone comes to work with this belief, like this true belief that they, are, they have the power to influence something and touch something that's going to do something great for other people. And I think that's what um, is the most special, is they know, they're not just doing it for themselves, they know they're doing it for others, like they know they, they love these guys. Every single person in the company loves the customer. Like the lovability, they love the customer and they feel like they've got to do their best work so their customer can do something great with it. Do you know what I'm saying? They, they really understand that and um, that, that's a, hey, it's, a, it's an incredible place to want to work when you, when you feel that way. But um, to love your customers, I think that's why our customers love us back. I mean, to be loved, you must first love. And because they love, you know, it's, um, it's, it's rare. Well, this congratulations, rare. it sounds like it's a great role and you're in the right place. And I can't Thank wait so to much. talk to you next year and hear more about Can Do and, and all of the wonderful things you're doing. Thank you. Thank you guys. Great. Thank Thanks, you. Anna. I'm Rebecca Knight, that wraps up theCUBE's uh, interview. Stay tuned for our wrap <laughs> of Engage 2019. You're watching theCUBE.